I wanted to be a published author. And when Tim Ferriss came out with a four hour work week, I was jealous. Still am. I'm like, <laughs> damn it. That's the, like, that's my life. That's how I'm living. I should have written that book. Yeah. And I was going to write something else on relationships, but my, my, my girlfriend at the time said, people want a book from you on how to live anywhere, choose their own hours and do something they love and get paid for that. Mm. So I decided to write a book called get, and I told you at the beginning, don't ask me about the book. So it's really <laughs> funny. I'm now talking about the book, um, but it's not to promote it. It's to give people an example of like all in, so I decided to write the book. It took me a year and a half to write Get Paid for Who You Are. I hired a ghostwriter. I spent 25 grand on a ghostwriter. I spent 10 grand on a really good editor. I got a publishing offer from one of the big six and turned it down because they wanted to call the book What You Know Will Make You Rich. No. And I said, no, this book mm. is more from the heart than that. It's money and it's heart. It's got to be called Get Paid for Who You Are. Mm. So I blew up two publishing deals and decided to self-publish. I spent $150,000 wow. and a couple of years of my life on the book, hired a publicist for 15 grand, went and did, you know, CNN headline news and whatever, did the hot, like full on in. And my book launch was something that had never been done since. And after it, some people uh, copied it. I was actually giving away the book at that stage and selling a course on the back end and mm. raising money for Sting's Rainforest Foundation. Nice. So that was another balls to the wall, like, like who, what's a big name that I can get involved with this? Let's raise money for charity and let's get everybody behind it. So I hired a filmmaker to do a video for me uh, and we did the, the lost audition tapes for the Avatar movie. That's what it was called. And there's me and there's all these people dressed up and I flew to LA, we did a viral video. So many layers to the launch. And we said to people like you, hey, do you want to give away a book for charity? Mm. Like, give away a book and raise money. We give away the book and we invite people to donate anything they want. And then when they do that, we'll track how much you raised and we'll show you on the map where people are around the world who are in your downline, who, who gave away books. And when nice. they give it away to more people, we'll show you their downline too and how your influence is spreading across the map and you're raising money for the rainforest. So, oh, and then there's, of course, approaching Jack Canfield and, and, and Richard Branson and asking them to write the forward. I did everything I knew, gave it everything. And, um, and then on the night of the book launch, uh, the server crashed <laughs> and, I, and I had hired a team for 25 grand to do the launch. I yeah. paid a guy for server reinforcement. There was nothing that I'd missed I crashed anyway. And so the launch was dismal. And I tell you, I, I'll be straight about it. I fell to my knees and I just wept. Mm. I just cried and I cried after two years and of all of this and all this expectation. It was such a, a blow a body blow. Now I made the money back eventually over the next two or three years. Yeah. Um, and I, and I don't think I would trade the experience, you know, built the email list up to 150,000 people um, and, and networked with so many wonderful people. But there's an experience where I went absolutely all in. As soon as you step off and launch, something will go wrong that you haven't foresaw and you just got to roll with it. That's just how it was. Is that what you did? Did you roll with it? Did you have a little cry in the corner and then pick yourself up oh, and keep going? Or Yeah, I had a huge cry, kept going. Um, I did end up, I felt like really burned out after that. So I did launch another course. I did a live event and, and Jack was kind enough to come and speak at the event. And I had some of my best friends uh, come, and, come, and, come and speak. So I, I kind of did more, but I was so burned out. I ended up eventually moving to Bali and living surrounded by the rice fields for a couple of yeah. years to recharge myself. And then it's, it was only three years ago I decided, you know what? It's time to dust yourself off, get back in the game. Who do you want to serve? And I yeah. decided business owners earning over 200,000 who want to double, but they're feeling so scattered and overwhelmed. Let's help them focus. 
So this, yeah. this is, you're, you're seeing like three years into the comeback from that, but I gave it everything. And so the question I have again for listeners, and I bet, I bet you ask this almost every podcast is, what do you love enough that you would go all in? And if you're mm. already working on it, are you going all in? And if not, what would that look like? Just take a piece of paper, take a pen and get away from everybody and just, just start 10 minutes. What would it look like to go all in if I had zero fear? You don't have mm. to do it all. We're just brainstorming at this stage.